Nellie Sedna was born in 1932 and she passed away in uh, 1992. Uh, unfortunately, uh, in the late 60s, she had an episode where uh, she almost lost her vision uh, for a week. And then uh, it was found out that she was suffering from multiple sclerosis. Nellie Sedna's work was much respected in her own time. But at that time, uh, from the 60s to, let's say, uh, the 80s, the arts and crafts were seen more or less in the form of a continuum. It's, it was seen more in this, uh, through the legacy of Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay and Pupul Jaikar, where uh, you did not differentiate between the arts and the crafts, and where, um, where the craftspeople benefited from the crafts revival movement in the post-independence era. Of course, when I talk about the continuum, it does not mean that, um, the, that, that the craftspeople were necessarily seen as equals of the artists, but there was a, a, what I call a maternalistic approach. You had the Kamla Devi Chattopadhyays, the, you had Pupil Jaikar, you had Nelly Setna. So you had these, uh, these, these mothers, as it were, uh, or, you know, or, uh, mother figures of, of, of the craft scene who encouraged craftspeople, who revived old forms, who set up uh, cottage industries to, uh, to, to help them financially. In the 1990s, um, in the era of globalization, the distinction between the arts and crafts becomes even more pronounced because uh, of, of, uh, of the emergence of auction houses, because of, um, of painting itself being seen as a commodity. So this commodification of art made the difference between the arts and the crafts even more accentuated and marked. One of the reasons also why Nelly Setna's work has been eclipsed is because she does not fit easily into any ready-made art historical narrative. We had, of course, artists like K.G. Subramanyam, Jogain Chaudhary, Arpita Singh, and others who worked with the Weaver Service, service Centers. At the Weaver Service Center, you had, you, you had um, a, a triad of figures, the artist, the designer, and the craftsperson. But of course, the craftsperson mainly translated the designs of, uh, of the artist and the designer. Uh, Nelly Setna uh, had a degree from Cranbrook. Uh, she uh, was a weaver, but she did not belong to the same class as the weavers uh, at the Weaver Service Center. So of course, you know, so, so, so again, at, at that level, uh, you know, it's not as if she could be patronized by the modern or contemporary artists. Uh, and also, uh, she, uh, she did not just merely have a studio practice. She was also a researcher and an activist. So again, uh, you, know, you, you can see that her, her work and her life and her worldview were fed by the knowledge that she picked up in the field. And not just the knowledge, but also the compassion that she had for the craftspeople. So I think, again, uh, you know, she, she can't be easily put into any specific art historical narrative and then valorized. And therefore also her, her work needs another kind of perspective.